welcome to Let's Play, where we play games in my Steam and GOG library. And today we have a special episode, because today is the day that Gloria Victus launches from early access to full release. And as you can see, we are faced with the choice of going to a legacy server, where the character I have casually played on and off for months is located. And it says, all progress from early access is preserved here. Continue your legacy today or begin your adventures in a realm with established characters, markets, and guilds. Characters from the new beginning servers and cannot be accessed here. Or we can go with the new beginning server. Recommend it for new players. Begin your adventure on a fresh map with new characters and pristine markets. The future is yours to make. Characters from the legacy servers cannot be accessed here. So, what they decided to do, because they promised a long, long time ago to people who have played all the early access stuff, that they would not do a server wipe. Instead, they chose to create new servers for the full launch so that everybody started off on even grounds. To say that this has been a bit contentious would be an understatement. Um, some legacy server people are pretty mad that they decided to go this route because they feel like it's just going to kill off the legacy servers because everybody's just going to jump to the new servers and the legacy servers is just going to drop off the cliff. I don't know. I mean, I intend to go back to my legacy character and play, but I also think we should start on a new server to see how it looks. All right. So it looks like our server is Home Ridge. Create a new character. Let's try Elowen. It's a name I haven't used in a while. All right, let's try this out. Let's see if I screwed this character up or not. Well, there are a lot of people in here. Alright, so... Talk to Captain... Amarius. Is this the captain? think it is. Ah, this is the captain. Welcome to Belhaman, the capital of Sangmar Empire on Stoneholm. We need you to join our ranks. Who are you? I'm Hemarius, and by the will of the Emperor, gods protect his soul. I am a captain of the Belhaman City Watch. But enough about me, we need your help. What to do? Go through this gate and go to the training ground where you'll learn the basics of combat. I will do that. It gives me a bow and arrow to start. Receive the invitation to an open public party. Do you want to accept? No, I don't. What do you need? Hamiria sent me. So you are coming for training. Great. Go to the training pit. First shooting, later melee. All right. So they changed this. It used to be a bandit camp that you had to fight through. Choose a bow from the skill bar or find it in the inventory. Click on it and select equip. So hit five. Aim at the target and left click to shoot. Yeah, okay. Like I said, I suck at this. 
Hold the left mouse button for a while to draw back your bow. Perform two strong shots with the bow. Choose a melee weapon from the skill bar or find it in the inventory. Right click and select equip. What do we have? We have a sword of some sort. Hold down the attack button until the indicator changes from green to orange and release. This is a strong attack. Form two overhead attacks. Two. Okay. So, depending on what direction you're looking in is what direction you attack from. The only one I always have problem with is the stab. There we go. We need a, one more overhead attack. And one more from the right. Kick the training dummy. Talk to recruiter trainer. And to put away your weapon, you use F. You also can use the F to draw a weapon. I have finished basic training. Well done. Go to General Gregorius and tell him he has a new recruit. Good luck. So I'm assuming it is in this direction. Actually, let's use an actual axe for this. Because, you know... I'm not going to turn down some materials when it, they're presented to me. That is one thing I learned playing early access. Don't pass up the materials. You will need lots and lots and lots and lots of materials to progress crafting. No lie. And this is not the ideal tool to use to gather herbs, but it works. Anything that can be used to cut. So a sword, an axe, a sickle is ideal. Oh, and loot boxes are also very handy. Because you get things out of them like, what did we get? Not sure. There it goes. Some thin leather and a freeman's long sword. It's actually better than the long sword I'm using, so I'm going to switch it out. We also have an iron knife. Novice's pickaxe. Or Kurt's reflex bow. A lantern, which we will equip. Wow. I didn't even know about the lantern for ages. I eventually found one at a shop and bought it. But they give you one now. Very good. What do you need? I just finished basic training. I was supposed to report to you. Welcome to the army. Take reward. Choose one. Light helm. 
medium helm, heavy helm. I usually do medium or heavy, but I'm going to try the medium and see. Let me think about it. The Izmirs are attacking the stronghold. Grab your weapon. We must hold the flank and repair the palisade. Okay. Already? Oh, that's right. It does kind of throw you right in the action. Somebody help us. Which way? Oh, this way. our first loot. All right. Oh, another Izmir scout. <laughs> he, he clipped through the wall. Are you kidding? Servant. The ones with markers over their head are player characters. to Gregorius. Okay. Well done. We held the flank, but don't be fooled. It was but a trick. What do you mean? I doubt they really meant to attack from the riverbank. They wanted to trick us, so they have the element of surprise for the main strike, which I believe will come at the stronghold's gate. So what do we do now? Get some wood and light the signal fire at the gate and ready your weapon. Remember that you can use leases and fortified positions to your advantage. What are you going to do? I'm going to find the leader of these. We will locate him. You meet with Fabia, the Emperor's emissary. You must hold until then. I will do that. And we have leveled up. And if you hit the Alt button, you can freely move your mouse around. Or you can hit the B key. So I'm going to put some point in Constitution, and I cannot remember, is it Dexterity? No, Strength has the Stamina. Alright, so, two cons, two, two,
strength, three con. Okay. Reaper, use any two-handed weapon. I don't care. Strong knife attack. Shield bash. Alright. Done with that. I've gathered some wood. Light the signal fire. Which, of course, is conveniently up here. Stop the Ismar tag. Can't use a ballista. Um, there are plenty of people waiting to use the ballista. weapon. Report to Fabia, the Emperor's Emissary. This is the person we need to talk to. It's you who Gregorius was talking about, right? We located the enemy commander. Keep going. Ismer sent their camp in a lumber yard on the other side of the river. I want you to sabotage the camp and kill the enemy officer while my men engage the enemy in combat. I'll do it. One more thing. In the upper part of this camp, there's another way out. Gregorius will guard your escape route. You'll meet him there if you make it. So, character development. Use your mouse to navigate, zoom, and move the tree. Select a node with the left mouse to check the requirements to unlock it and see what bonuses it gives. By progressing the main node, you unlock further parts of the tree and new items. By further using unlocked items you can progress that mastery nodes which increase your efficiency in using these items now do i have materials to make anything with preferably a shield Smithing. Is it under weapons?
I don't know the recipe. Okay. All right. So I do not know how to make a shield yet. And I do not have any other items. Oh, what do we have over here? Okay, ring the bell. Enter the enemy camp using the underground passage. And what level am I now? Level two. Oh, we got some gloves here. Definitely put those on. So yeah, if you go around, and especially in the main city, you'll find chests like that all over the place. Sometimes they're empty. Well, quite often they're empty. Sometimes they'll have things in them. And then you can use them. That one's empty. And it, you'll hover over it, and it'll say... This item is empty, so that's always good. You also have a board here that people can put things on. So you have an announcement board, and you can see there are different guilds looking for members. There's also a quest section of the board, and uh, there are no quests here. All right. supposed to be that oh and if you're running like actual running sprint running and you run into NPCs they actually respond which I thought was rather interesting is just a back passage. As you could see there's a settlement and this is the back passage to uh, the enemy camp. burn the tents, but since these tents are already on fire, it's kind of hard to burn what's already burning. Which is the downside of having to play where everybody's in the intro. Everybody is definitely in the intro today. It's uh, actually pretty interesting to see all of these people. Makes me wonder. Wonder makes me wonder how many people are actually on right now. There seem to be quite a number of them. Still is more shoulders. So it looks like I have handled part one of this. I just need to kill some more enemies. And I'm done. And it looks like everybody else is dealing with the same issue.
I'll take that gold. Thank you very much. Actually, that's copper, not even gold. Okay. All right, so. Stop it. Okay, thank you. Kill the Ismer officer. Really? There was something else I needed to do. Ah, oh, of course. Wait, let's... This looks like a slightly better armor than what I was wearing. No lie, the armors in this game are not the most pleasant to look at. Oh. And this character is doing it I guess they're doing a naked challenge. Ah, that would be the Ismer officer. Now it says report to Gregarious. I didn't even kill him. I guess looting him counted. That's a little buggy. Choose a reward. We'll go with the gauntlets. And we've leveled up. You made it. Take this with Fabius gratitude. Thank you. This isn't the end of the fight. This was just a vanguard of the enemy forces. We won't be safe while their commander lives, and I'm afraid it's the infamous Sigurd Crow Shadow. So what should we do now? Behind that bridge is the gladiator skull, and Nisidus, Fabius' friend, is the prefect there. He knows these lands. Go talk to him. I'll do that. So I think we leveled up again, and we're going to put some more in Constitution. We'll put one in Dexterity, and two in Strength. Okay. We have another point to spend here. We're going to put it in Shield Bash, because we will eventually have a shield, and I'll want to be using that. Daily challenges. So you have daily challenges, and by completing them, you will get rewards, which are usually that you have forgotten to translate that into English, but they're usually items that you can use for crafting. We'll uh, slightly put our weapon away while we're in town. And we'll grab these herbs. Another thing about this game is that items have a very... I'm not getting any of these things. I just noticed that. I've gathered stuff, but I haven't actually gathered it. But foods, drinks, um, food items have a very short window where they go bad. So, that's just a fair warning. You'll cook some meat. It'll go cold in like four hours, and that's real time. 
and then in a day or two it'll turn into fertilizer so unlike most MMOs you really have to be watching what material what materials you have what foods you have to make sure that well they're still good how could that even happen I've come from the fort. It was attacked by Izmir's, led by Sigurd Crow's shadow. Gregoris said that you might know more about this man. Oh, dear gods, I saw the fire, but I didn't think things were so bad. Unfortunately, I didn't hear about Sigurd. But, well, we have serious problems, too. What exactly? The gladiators broke out, hurt the guards badly, and run to the woods with their weapons. We thought it's the end of our problems, but Adia, our medic, went missing soon after. It's no coincidence. I can feel it in my bones. Talk to Aramont, the quartermaster of this school, and find out what's going on. First, check the chest next to me. It's a depot. You can keep whatever you want in it, and no one can steal its contents. Access is worldwide, so if you put an item in it, you can take it out at the other end of the island using a similar chest. Anything else? One more thing. Help me harvest herbs in the garden so I can prepare medicine for the wounded in the fort. We, the Imperial, must help each other. So there's supposed to be a chest here somewhere. Which I don't see it. Unless it, he thought, ah, over here. A wooden hammer. Two-handed weapon, huh? All right, so we can put some stuff away. And put anything away that I'm not particularly using. Maybe I would like to sell later. Ah, oh, here. Diluted wine. Health regen, plus 1%. Now this one expires pretty long off. So you actually have three months before it expires. I'll put crafting materials that I have found in here. Which includes some charcoal, some iron scraps, an iron woodcutter's axe, some thin leather. I'll put that away. I'll put this piece of common wood up. Fabric scraps, I'll put that up. I'll keep that. And I can't remember what is in this. Oh, see, I don't think I've ever even opened it. It's not letting me open it, so I'm going to put it away, too. All right. Now, we need to gather herbs. And we're gathering some hemp. I guess that would make sense. Because you can use hemp for linen. All right, we have gathered all the herbs. Now we need to ask Artiman about Asia. Artiman is way over here. Now I really actually like the look of the world. It's not the most perfect graphics, but at least not for the characters, but for the landscape, it's kind of interesting. Yes, I'm hunting the Izmir chieftain, Sigurd Crow's shadow. His men attacked the nearby fort. Nicodus told me about the gladiators' rebellion and that Aisha is missing. He asked me to talk to you. Indeed, gladiators spilled the blood of our guards, robbed their weapons, and headed to the woods. It's so bad that this happened. And Aisha? Well, a few days later, Aisha went to the forest too, but he never came back. Maybe you could go there and look for her. I don't go there anymore because of the aggressive boar. I can do it and hunt the boar too. Where shall I start? Thank you, stranger. Aisha used to like to gather herbs by that stone arch. You won't miss it. 
By the way, would you like to earn some money? Or what do you need? There's a bear wandering around which causes some trouble. Hunt it down and I'll pay you well. All right. And of course, we are not going to find any boar at the moment because everybody's crawling all over this spot. Let's see if we can do this. Can we? Oh, no, but we can attract a boar. Unfortunately for me, because so many people are hunting them, Switch back to a weapon that is actually intended to be used to attack things. And I cannot loot a single one of these bags. Oh, let's see. Search for clues. Okay, we're only at 42% on hunting boar. Oh, we gathered some mushrooms. Well, I'm not in a party, so I don't know how another party member could loot it. Um, I don't know if that's an actual boar or statue, or if it's dead, but, um, that was weird. Okay, 57%. Never said this was going to be a fast process. Okay. We're going to go ahead and gather that, if it'll have even let us gather it. It did earn me some points, so maybe I am gathering this stuff, I just don't know where it's going. Oh, it's dead, but it's still moving, which is kind of sort of creepy. You know, I kill something, I expect it not to be bouncing around still. Okay, we've already managed to make it to level 4, and I think they make leveling pretty easy because supposedly the whole point of the game is in-game and PvP. Of course, 
I don't do PvP, but I do enjoy the game. I know it seems strange, but it really is. I do enjoy the game. I think I want another in strength, though, because I really do want that stamina. Stamina is kind of important. So, report to Gregor Gregorius. Where is he now? Search, investigate Aisha's corpse. Kill the convicts in their hideout. <gasps> That's one convict. Got a nice little hideout here. Of course, the problem is there's only a couple of them, and there's more than a couple of people looking for them. That is actually, in this game, probably a good problem because, well, be honest, this game has not had the hugest audience. In fact, uh, usually was averaging about 300 to 350 concurrent players. I need one more. Maybe I should take the straw out of my mouth. Although I wasn't finished drinking. <laughs> oh, here's one. Take the document. Oh, the documents that are right in front of my face. Action has been interrupted. Okay. Give the letter to Artiman. And I guess there are collision co mechanics in the game. I did not know this. There's a bear out here somewhere. Not sure I'm really in the mood to deal with a bear. That's a level 28 mob. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to take my little level 4 self out and deal with it. Grab these herbs. And I will grab this clay.
All right. So. I took care of the... I hunted the bear. Okay. So he rewards me with... A bow. Great. Here's your payment. You deserve it. There is something else. I took care of the boar. I found Asia and the gladiators too. I have a bad feeling about this. Those rebel convicts set a camp up in the woods. Asia must have come too close. I found her body pierced with arrows. I'm sorry. Choose a weapon. We'll go with the uh, sword. Which we can't even use yet. I felt it in my bones. It went in like that. Take this as a reward for bringing this news. But I see it's not all you've got to say. I got rid of those thugs and searched their camp. They don't work alone. This letter looks like orders. What? Give it to me. Hmm. But how could it? Oh no, the convicts work with the Izmirs and they're going to attack the Imperial Library. So what now? Go on the trail and run uphill to the library. You must warn them. Now, I remember doing this on my other character and this was not at the time a level 5 quest. It was actually like a level 25-30 quest. So I don't know if they've changed that. I also want to find report to Gregorius. Okay. Yeah, it's a level 15 quest. Which is definitely not something I want to be doing at level four or five. And I think we just went the wrong way because here's the Imperial Library. What happened? The Izmirs broke into the library. They set the buildings on fire while the convicts stole our treasure. The guards pushed them back, but all the loss. How could I help? Some people are still trapped in burning buildings. Break the doors to free them and help save the burning books before there's nothing left to save. I'll do it. We are going back the other way because we went the wrong way. We want it to... I'm trying to find Gregorus so we can turn that in. It actually is an interesting game. It's definitely a PvP focused game. So if you're into PvP, this might be something you would enjoy trying out. It is on Steam and last time I checked it was $19.99 for the game. I don't know if there's any sales going on because it released in released today from Early Access. I don't know if they've raised the price. I'll put it in the description if there are any changes, but as it stands, the last time I looked it was 20 bucks. This isn't the end of the fight. This was just a vanguard of the enemy forces. We won't be safe while their commander lives. And I'm afraid it's the infamous Sigurd Crow's shadow. So what should we do now? Behind that bridge is the gladiator school and Nicodus Fabius' friend is the prefect there. He knows these lands. Go talk to him. That's weird because I thought I for sure I had done that. But apparently I hadn't. How do you leave the tutorial? Why would you want to leave? Well, I guess some people are impatient to actually get started. So, that's funny. I don't think I have ever left the tutorial with my other character. 
I think technically I'm still considered to be in the tutorial. Which is fine by me. Okay, two more points in Constitution. Two more points in Strength. And this time one in Dexterity. All right. So this is our first look at the game Gloria Victus. And if you want me to look at it some more, well, leave me a comment. Although I'm pretty sure I will probably do one or two more videos regarding this. But yeah. Let me know. And until next time. Bye for now.